Yes, tea isn't just for drinking. Tea rinses are in fact a simple way of supplementing your natural hair care routine by using something you probably already have in your kitchen cabinet. So how do tea rinses work? Most green and black teas contain caffeine that penetrates hair strands and promotes hair growth by increasing blood flow in the scalp, also improving hair retention by reducing shedding significantly and are also rich in antioxidants and amino acids that naturally soften hair, increase manageability and restore luster and shine. Certain teas also contain useful vitamins and minerals and can have cleansing properties that protect against chemical damage, repair split ends and exfoliate the scalp, thus reducing dandruff. So how do you do a tea rinse? Well, it's a three step process. Step one, start by brewing two cups of strong tea in a teapot or bowl using either two tea bags or teaspoons of loose tea. Allow to cool and remove the tea bags or sieve out the tea leaves. Step two, shampoo your hair, then Slowly rinse your hair and scalp with the tea by pouring the cooled liquid over your hair and scalp or using a spray bottle if you prefer. Step three, follow up with a deep conditioner as tea can often have drying properties. There are many uses for the tea rinses and there are many types to choose from. So what kinds of teas should you use? Some examples are green tea, which reduces shedding, stimulates hair growth and helps with dandruff. Black tea also reduces shedding, strengthens and thickens hair and adds lustre and naturally darkens hair. Nettle tea helps with dandruff and strengthens hair strands. Rosemary tea stimulates hair follicles for hair growth. Chamomile tea brightens lighter coloured hair. Hibiscus tea promotes hair growth and gives a reddish sheen to hair. One note of caution, caffeine can stimulate hair growth and black tea seems to have the most caffeine. While some feel the extra caffeine is great, others choose to steer clear of it for their hair. If you're concerned about excess caffeine intake via hair rinses, then check with your doctor or simply avoid green and black teas and stick with the non-caffeinated herbal teas for tea rinsing. So, have you ever used tea rinses before? What were your experiences? Tell me in the comments.